Hello, this is Sean Kantayashi with Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And Mira and I were just sitting here talking about how schnauzers are the perfect pets when you want a dog that is just completely devoted to you. These little fur babies love being cuddled and snuggled and played with and trained. They love learning. So Mira and I were talking about some of the individual characteristics of each of these dogs, and we thought we'd share them a little bit with you. I was asking Mira, what are some of the things you've noticed about um, some of them? What, what, what are some of the things that come to your mind, Mira, since you've been working here with them? Yeah, um, I've noticed that Liberty and Grace, they definitely love all the obedience training and pleasing. So would you pick Liberty up so people know who Liberty yes, is? This is so Liberty. Liberty is our little tiny white schnauzer and she has blue eyes, really pretty blue eyes. All right, so you were saying about Liberty. Yes, Liberty loves pleasing, also loves fetch. Um, all the training that I do with obedience, she really enjoys. Um, uh, yeah, she loves doing all that type of stuff. Just very eager to do training with me, to, she's always ready to go, very into all that. Yes, so another thing about Liberty, she is a fantastic quarterback. Yeah. So if we're playing fetch, even though she's the tiniest one in the group, she is able to go get the toy and meander around everybody else to hold on to the toy. What else have you noticed about somebody else? Um, I've noticed that Honeybee, this is Honeybee, um, loves doing training. Whenever I am here, whenever I arrive and I am starting to do training with them, Honeybee is always the first one that wants to go, is always up for something fun, loves doing fun skills, definitely also obedience training, all that stuff. Yeah, so Honeybee, Honeybee has quite an intellectual curiosity about things. She's always the first one to find the loophole in something, and she loves to snuggle. The other thing about her is, I, I think of her as this little Mexican jumping bean, like she's just constantly <laughs> sort of wagging her tail and twisting her body in this really cute, adorable little way. Yes. For sure. Yes. And then, of course, there's her sister, Sweet Tea, here. And Sweet Tea is just an absolute cuddle bug. Yeah. Oh, she loves to be in your lap, and she loves to hold on to a toy. So while some of these dogs love to play fetch, she loves to just carry her toy. Sweet Tea is so happy if she has a little stuffed-type toy in her mouth, and she will carry it around like it's her little teddy bear baby. And she is just a doll like that. Wonderful personalities. And then, of course, there's Grace. Oh, my goodness. Grace is just amazing. Not only is Grace a certified therapy dog, but she just emotionally knows how to connect with everybody. And most of my dogs earn their therapy dog certification by the time they're a year old. You, you can't apply for it until they are a year old. But Grace is just one of those everybody always wants to connect with her because of her amazing personality. So schnauzers have this just uncanny ability to uh, connect, I think, on multiple levels, emotionally, intellectually, physically. And then there's Reddy. Reddy is our boy, and he is just always eager to um, make sure everything's okay for everybody. He is just a doll. He has such a sweet, kind heart, always ready to please, wants to play. He's our little frog. You can see how he's uh, sitting, laying right now in a frog position when they all sleep together with us. <laughs> and so um, when, when I'm sleeping at night in bed, they're all in bed with me. Ready will uh, stay at the foot of the bed often. I think he's protecting us. He's closest to the door. And the rest of them are all cuddled in. And this little guy, Truffles, he's still a puppy. 
He's 17 weeks old right now, so he's still uh, very much, his personality is still developing. But again, just very playful. We'll see how he continues to develop over time. You know, what other observations do you have about these little fellows now that you've been working with them a couple of weeks? They're all so just sweet and lovable and so kind. Grace especially, very loving, very easy to just have fun with. Um, ready, <laughs> very sweet, just fun, um, lighthearted, just very, just very, very good dogs, I would say. I think they're all, they're all amazing. So one of the things, uh, schnauzers have a reputation for being really barky, being loud, and they don't have to be. That's something that can be trained at a young age so that they're not uh, loud or screaming or feeling like they have to be the sentinel for the neighborhood. And I'm just pointing out here how most of the time at my house, it's very quiet. Most of the time it's very relaxed because we've trained them to be relaxed dogs. We've trained them that we are the pack leader and they don't have to be the pack leader. So this goes back to that thing that I talk about regularly with creating structure. When we create the right structure and boundaries for our dogs, we're willing to say no. We're, will, we're willing to tell them when they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. And so right now he's chewing on something he's not supposed to be. So I can either say no or I can move him and divert him to doing something else or to having something that he is supposed to chew on. So I can get him an appropriate chew toy for him, which I will do. And um, the, the, the whole key is getting them to recognize they don't have to be the pack leader in the family that you are the pack leader and you will provide the structure and the boundaries and the training and the exercise. And then that enables them to be super relaxed, calm, beloved family pets. And so when we talk about them being really sweet and loving, they have been molded, if you will, into that environmentally through the training and the kinds of things that we do that plays into the natural schnauzer personality of wanting to be sweet, loving, kind, but they can also be super calm and easygoing. So this is what you see, this is what you get when you get a little schnauzer puppy from us. Mira, thank you so much for being here and, and um, playing with them and working with them regularly. Yeah. All right, make it a great day. From Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers, please subscribe. If you like all things puppy and creating wonderful family pets to be continued, see you in the next video.